My context is this. Yes, I would agree. I go to the same markets that Dr. Ball goes to. I go to the American film market, the Berlin film market, the Cannes film market. And in the last year, it has been noticeable that attendance at these markets and the deals at these markets are low. That is a fact. Does that mean that independent film is dead? No, that does not mean that independent film is dead. I'm sorry, I'm a, I'm a little bit drunk from uh, the award ceremony. What I want to tell you is that independent film has gone through a period, a period in time where we're going to look back in 20 years and say this was the time when independent film was fat and self-absorbed. It didn't know what the fuck it was doing. Now we are back on track. We've lost the fat out of our system. We were back. We're a lean fucking fighting machine, just like this machine right here. <laughs> Furthermore, I can say, in the year 2000, some may say the end of the heyday of independent cinema. If you look at the number of films that were making a profit on a 600 or lower release pattern in the United States, and you look at that same number today, it's the exact same number. The market has not changed. We've just gotten rid of the fact. What have we gained? We have gained alternative platforms. We have gained VOD. We have gained another sort of, we have gained iTunes. We have gained the platforms that independent filmmakers who are making films on a very low budget can get their films out to the public and make money, and make absolute money. There's anecdotal cases in the last year where there are independent filmmakers that have gone out, released their own films, or gone through a VOD deal, and made many times over the budget of their film. This was an opportunity that was not allowed to people 10 years ago. Right now, I say to you people, this is the glory days of independent film. time. We have 95 million television sets in the United States that have the capability of downloading VOD films. There are companies out there right now that are offering, maybe they're not offering the guarantee that we saw five years ago, but what they're offering now, they're offering true gross percentage deals, 25% to 50% of every dollar that comes through VOD sales back to the filmmaker. So if you're an independent filmmaker, you keep your budgets low, you maximize the tax subsidies, you take a good VOD deal, you're gonna be a goddamn champion. He's the ball of the ring, he goes running, goes running. Yeah. Uh, look, the, the people said like eight years ago, like VOD will like uh, makes the DVD dissolve and, and uh, basically it, uh, it actually grows, especially in UK, for example. Uh, but the reality is like, uh, let's say you have a movie like Blood Rain 2, for example, uh, you get you get no you get out of DVD in US under forty thousand bucks with a movie what is on all the platform uh, platforms, right? So what uh, shows you will be not the champ, you will be only like digging yourself a little higher up because you're deep in the pit. Uh, look, there's a there's a story like the new ter the Terry Gilliam film, for example, they shot that in Vancouver on the set after his lecture. Uh, uh, died with, with the other actors, uh, uh, and the office was directly across uh, our uh, our uh, office. And uh, the reality is that the guy who financed it all uh, is a Vancouver businessman who put like 25 million uh, bucks in that movies. He died during the production. He was totally depressed. He got an, uh, an arm amputation because he had cancer, and he died. So uh, in the end, in the uh, in the end, you can uh, you can hail Terry Gilliam, whatever the reality is. They tanked on that movie at least 25 million bucks because nobody buys it. So and I I am on that side. You know, I'm uh, even if I get bashed to the ground and always Nazi good, whatever. But the reality is, uh, but the reality is that there is somebody pays. And I'm sure a lot of people who make movies here in that room, they know that somebody pays. And if you, can, if you get them really the receipts, you will see that uh, the normal independent movie produced for a million bucks or two million bucks will stay unsold in 90% of the territories. You know, the reality is that all the studios uh, are spending absurd amounts to get the movies out. And the independent movies are not in that circle anymore. They're just not getting that release. Of course, there are always exemptions. There are always movies out there 
they will make a profit. And of course, there are surprising movies they turn uh, into being big, you know. But is Juno a surprising movie or is it a Fox movie? <laughs> so there's a thing what also totally absurd is in the press always said that surprising movies are in reality like planned releases from the major studios. Yeah. This has nothing to do with independence. Yeah. So and uh, so just for maybe maybe Tim can counter this. So I'm just gonna say right here, we're gonna have a rebuttal from Tim and then I'm gonna allow you guys both a 30 second closing argument before Tim dies. Uh, I just want to hear his voice again so I can remember and his wife is here, it's going to be sad. Uh, so Tim, you're about. Uh, the first thing I want to do is define independent. Uh, we've gone into an arena here where we're talking about Juno and we're talking about Fox. The, to me, I love I love Juno, and I think I think Fox Searchlight is a wonderful company because they give us uh, gentlemen Broncos are open and I film, of course. Uh, but um, nonetheless, independent to me feels more like the films that are here at Fantastic Fest. And all I'm trying to stress is that there's deals here to be made. The big deals and the films that are, we're talking about that Dr. Bull is talking about are films that are above what I'm calling independent. They're talking about the, the 10 million to 30 million dollar films. These films are the, are, the, are the problem. This is what's gone away. This is, this is the market that's dropped out of the system. I feel that the smaller films, the smart films, the really quality films from young independent filmmakers have an option. And what the option is, it's created by several things. One, it's created by people like you creating buzz from places like Fantastic Fest. You guys are creating some buzz right now that drives momentum for future VOD and DVD and online sales. Uh, the other thing that happens is the blogging community. It's also the uh, social network community. If you, if you are smart enough to build a genre movie, because that's the arena we're talking in right now, that has some sort of hook, that has some, something that gets people excited, the word is going to be spreading quickly. It's so easy right now to spread word if you have got a quality piece of entertainment. And now we're talking about VOD deals that are percentage-based. Yes, you do not get the $10 million that you have to recoup from P&A, but to me, that is not independent. What independent is, you poured your heart and soul into a movie, you spent everything you had, you have an opportunity, if the movie is dope, if the movie has a great campaign, then you can get $400,000, $600,000 out of a VOD deal. Because I personally selected Rampage for this festival. What I saw on, what I saw on Rampage, was uh, not a big budget uh, period piece, not special effects, although it was a really great explosion scene at the police station. That was very great. But what I saw was, was guerrilla tactics, independent filmmaking, a beautiful story, a twist ending, a wonderful, and I assume that this is a smaller budget movie. And I think that you can play in this independent arena and you can make a ton of money because you, sir, are an excellent filmmaker. <laughs> Words. <laughs> to honor his death. So let's go ahead and clear the ring now. We're going to clear the ring. It is okay to cheer on either or both of these opponents. Don't die, Jim! Remember, he chose Rampage. We are in America, home of the underdogs. Anything can happen. The movement in, they're both exchanging good blows. Could be anybody's match. Oh no, the stomach! Oh, to the head! We're halfway through the final round. Oh, right up to the head again! There's only 30 seconds left. Either of these giants can make it. This is colossal. Ladies and gentlemen, 